Hey y'all, it's Michael. And for this video, I am actually going to show y'all the books that I want to read um, in 2021. I made a video similar to this last year, but we're not, we're gonna, we're gonna forget it, okay? Uh, for 2020, I think has been my worst reading year ever, um, ever since I started my booktube channel. I was looking at my stats from my bookly app. It's the least amount of books I've ever read, um, and it's also the least amount of time I've ever read. While I am reading like every day, it's not, I'm, I'm not reading long enough every single day. So I'm not finishing books in a timely manner. Um, and it's not like a rush or anything to finish book, uh, to finish books. Um, I don't want y'all to think that. It's just, it's, it's one of those things where I know I could do better. Um, and it's a disappointment within myself because I know I could have done better. And it's not like one of those things where, um, like I'm beating myself down. It's, and I know that 2020 personally <laughs> has just not been the best. You love this. Like me, Michael, I love this. Um, how come you don't put enough time in it? Because you know that it makes you happy. I, so I picked these books from my personal library. A lot of these are very repeats. Um, you've probably seen on my channel. I talk about them all the time. I just have never actually gotten to them or I stopped at one point and I just never actually finished it. So I, that's what this is. And what I'm going to do is actually, um, really keep myself accountable because I'm going to stack these next to my TV where I, um, so I can see it and it's like a looming thing that, hey, you need to finish these. I just know I can do it. I just know if I actually put the time in it, um, I can finish these. A lot of these books have been on my bookshelf, personal bookshelves, five ever. Okay. It's been on there five ever. Usually around this time, I would donate to the library, like all the books that, um, I accumulated and like calling around, uh, because I, I need to get rid of them because I'm bringing books in. All right, this is in no particular order. I don't know how I'm going to get to them, but I know uh, I'm going to start with uh, probably the smallest one so I can like build up the momentum. Um, and the smallest one of this is The White Tiger by Ar Ar Aravind Adiga. I have been seeing this book forever around everywhere. Um, and the reason why it's on this list is because I believe it is going to become a movie. Oh, it's going to be released. Oh, next year. Yeah. Oh, it has Priyanka Chopra. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, it's going to be on Netflix. So, oh, I hope it is in beautiful Dolby Vision because... All right, the next one. If you saw that previous video, I was talking about Murakami and here's one. Of <laughs> here's one of them. This is a Murakami. I'm, this is Nor Nor Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami. This edition is translated um, by... Jay Rubin, who is uh, usually one of the translators for Murakami. The other one is uh, Philip Gabriel, I think. Yeah, uh, so the translation should be good on this one. Um, I have never read this, and I heard that this is like, it's going to be very different from his other ones. The other ones that I have read are more like magical, and this one I believe is going to be more straightforward, but I'm sure it'll have that Murakami-esque thing about it. Um, I think this is like a straight up love story, so we'll see how that goes. So yeah, there's that. All right, a lot of these are going to be like, you, you've seen them on my channel. One of them is this. Uh, this is The Rainbow by uh, D.H. Lawrence. I have always wanted to read this because of the cover. I mean, it's it's provocative. Um, I have never read anything by Lawrence before. All right, the next one that I picked on this list, so I'm going to start stacking these up, is Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. I have never read this book ever okay i have never even seen like the movie i think there was a tv show too um i just never read it um and i i just want to i think it's like something with world war ii don't quote me on it the next one is uh the amazing adventures of cavalier and clay by um michael chabon this i've been again a lot of these books i've been seeing around um this one the noble peace prize no 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 this one the pulitzer um and so that's how i first heard of it uh because i've been looking down at that list and i was like okay yes i got this i forgot where i got see i even forgot where i got this from a while back it has a crease and everything so we'll see how it goes i don't know all right all right the next one this is um the pillars of the earth by ken Follet, Follet, or Fillet? It's probably Follet. Um, I don't know, but this, ooh, this, this she huge, okay? This is huge. Um, I've actually heard good things about this. Uh, again, the periphery of being in the book community. Here we go. All right, these last three slash four-ish, 
you have been seeing them around on my channel for a while. The first one, this is Dahlgren by Samuel El Delani. I have been meaning to read this five ever. I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, this is sci-fi, queer, leather, daddy-ish, a trippy of a book. Um, I got a good chunk of it read before, I just have never actually finished it. So it is time, okay? It is time. I have to, like, this is it. Okay, this is it. Right, the next one is very recent. It's this big boy. It is um, Frederick Douglass, Prophet of Freedom by David W. Blight. Um, I picked this up for, um, I, I bought this, it's huge. It's a, it's huge. Um, for Nonfiction November, did I read it during that time? No, I didn't. That's why it's on this list. Um, and I'm gonna read it for next year. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure I am going to love this. All right, the last two slash one um, is something by Tolstoy, okay? I just need to read something by Tolstoy, okay? I, I, I enjoy Russian literature. It's just, there are, there, there are some chunkers in Russian literature, okay? Um, so the reason why I have two on here, so it's either gonna be War and Peace or Anna Karenina. Now, the reason why I have this one and this one, for the, for the life of me, I cannot find the edition. I have a second edition of this. Um, and this edition right here by this War and Peace is translated by Richard Pevier and Larissa Volokonsky. I love their translation work. Like, I love them as translators. So, when they translate stuff, I always like, oh my gosh, I'm sure it's gonna be good. And I have their edition of Anna Karenina, um, their translated edition. I don't know, for the life of me, I don't know where it is. So I might have to rebuy it again if I want to tackle Anna Karenina. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I really don't know where it is. Like, I legit don't know. Um, so yes, I. it's gonna be like a chunker if anything. I feel like I would enjoy Anna Karenina more than War and Peace, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and I say that because I feel like as though like this might have more, well, this is gonna have drama too. For the past few like times I have read like Russian literature, like old white Russian dudes, um, I really like them. <laughs> like Lolita I read um, this year. I loved it. I, I know, but yeah, I was like, oh my God, this is, this was great. I was like, wow. Uh, so I just had a really good streak with um, reading Russian literature. So I was like, I'm just gonna keep going. Those are all the books. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna sh I'm gonna stack them up. And I'm gonna read them. I I have to like, I I just it's not even like proving to myself that I can do it. It's just that I know I can. I just I know I can. Like I know I can. <laughs> You know what? In the comments down below, give me some affirmations. Give me some confidence. <laughs> give me some rooting. <laughs> so yeah, until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Happy Vlogmas.